When I get fatter, when I gain weight, I gain weight evenly over my whole body at once. And which I About a Gary Glitter song. <laughs> you all seem to get fat in one place at a time, and you have my sympathies, because you get fat, chin, then belly, then left bum cheek, then right bum cheek, whatever it is. <laughs> It's not how I operate. When I get fat, it's evenly all over. Imagine someone slowly just siphoning butter into a wetsuit. <laughs> just a sort of... almost imperceptible increasing girth over time, over the whole form, till your shoes are tight. I got this way because I followed some advice, and it was very, very bad advice. And it's advice that mostly women get. But I thought, what's good for the goose, you know? I thought, I'll give this a go. It's lady advice, but I'll try it out for me. And the advice is, listen to your body. <laughs> Which you must never, ever do. Your body is your second worst enemy after your mind. Your mind and your body want only what is worst for you in this world. And they are not to be trusted. And it's, it's all very well, the kind of women who give out this advice, listen to your body. You see that on Instagram. It's a lady scratching the back of her head with her big toe. <laughs> in front of a sunset somewhere. And then in cursive it says, listen to your body. And you think, very well for you. When you listen to your body, it says things like, oh, salad is pudding. <laughs> when I listen to my body, it says, why aren't you eating KFC? And I don't have a repast. It's a good point. I go say, fair enough, and I go and I eat some. Because I don't have a counter-argument to that. I don't have a good reason. Also, when it speaks to me, it's like the voice from the One Ring, like Lord of the Rings. It has got it's got it. It's unfamiliar. I'm like, what the fuck? This tortured me endlessly. Is that normal? <laughs> I hope so. Listen to your body, it's terrible advice. You wouldn't say that to a heroin addict, would you? What does your body want? Heroin, to be honest. I'm a heroin addict. Stupid fucking advice. Terrible advice. Trouble is, I use food as a reward. That's what I do. I'm an emotional eater and I reward myself with food. So I say to myself, for example, well, I've had a very good day. You know, I've got a lot done. I sent that email. <laughs> Practically Bill Gates. I should reward myself with some sort of enormous takeaway meal. Or, um, it's been a pretty bad day. And he said, just remember the most- It's been a tough day. But I've survived. <laughs> and why not celebrate that fact with some sort of enormous takeaway meal? <laughs> or, um, if you had a normal day. Started on a Sunday. Now listen. Just a normal day, boring day. Not a lot's really happened. Why not spice things up? <laughs> With some sort of enormous takeaway meal. Only those three types of day though. Um, one must have rules. 